and you know we even have you know a, 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 a few pros who like to hop in and drop some knowledge on people yep. i know i believe uh, chris t might be working on a big old post about what he thinks is wrong with ken in terms of everything i know yeah, but yeah. check that out uh I, I know myers came in a few months back uh, before season three hit it's gonna drop a little bit of uh, a little bit of cami tech which is really really nice to see like just the pros coming in and, and like actually taking the time to make like well a long thought out post that could really help a lot of newer players like, and yeah, something so very that um, yeah no it's a great resource something that i'm actually thinking of, of doing is um creating a video guide on how to pick up a new character like what kind of approach that people should take when a new character drops like uh for instance sakura okay uh, and how you can go with the character that has no documentation whatsoever and how you can formulate a game plan and bring her up to you know a decent a good level and be one of the one of these people who are on the forefront of new tech and um just discovering how a character plays no need for oh talk. guys love that to look for i'm not afraid of self-promotion I have no shame. I actually have a question about that. So, oh, yeah. what is your idea of people who just don't care about learning, or like, not learning, but like, finding out new tech and just want to take what's already out there? Do you um, think people should come in with the mentality of like, you know, can I find something new? Can I find something that works for me? I think, um, it's a totally valid way of wanting to play the game. Like, um, because finding new tech is like, is hard. Like, it's not easy. And it's it's right. more for something where it's like if you're unless you're at like kind of at a really high level, um, it's you're almost always better off figuring out what other people have figured out or learning what other people have figured out. But in terms of the the people who want to who want to take it to that next level, and it's not necessarily saying that like only people who are at the highest level can try and learn, try and figure out something new for themselves, but. Um, it's definitely for, uh, they call it. I don't know, it's just, it's for those people who have that joy of discovery, right? They don't want to just do what other people are already doing. They want to help define the character for, um, find the, the character. That was a bit of a word jumble, but I hope I got my point across. Yeah, no, definitely makes sense. Okay, so so Penny, uh, so, so P Manny not really not really doing too bad. Uh, he's putting up a decent fight here against Helix. Uh, it can be quite difficult to get in on on a character like Dial to begin with, especially playing somebody like Alex. He doesn't have all the options that whatever the characters do. He's not doing too bad. Uh, we'll see where he goes here in the uh, second game. Spice Helix is taking the first one. Mm -hmm. So you can figure out a way to kind of break into this uh it's a god defense and maybe may put a little bit of a, you know a little bit of a hurt on it. We can fear for his life a little bit. Yeah. Because I think that like at the point where you're like oh, ultra yeah. gold and like above, like the difference between like an ultra gold player and like a diamond player is really just how much have you ranked, you know, like how much have you just played a ridiculous amount of sets online and ranked to get to that point. See, now I'm actually gonna disagree with that. Okay. Uh, and I'm not saying like, oh no, like I'm not saying like, oh I'm diamond. I'm definitely gonna be a, a level above everyone. <laughs> that, that's not what I'm saying. Is um, I actually found that the main difference between uh, platinums and diamonds and and golds too um, is that platinums and gold players, they typically have a game plan that works, and they use that, and that and that it, that's what ranked is them. Is they're just grinding out the same game plan over and over and over again. And um, they might be improving that game plan a little bit between game to game, but the main thing that I see the diamonds do that uh, platinums don't is that diamonds will change their game plan during the round, during the matches. Mm, interesting. I like that. Yeah, I don't think that like some sometimes their setups are a little bit better, but it's it's mostly that that willingness and ability to alter their game plan and get wrecked. Oh no, kind of like that right there. <laughs> just expecting, just expecting the parry to work on that jumping witch, which is not as real as you think it is. No, it's it's not. You can you can definitely bait out those uh, parries, and one of my favorite things to do. But to be fair, that totally worked against um, like against Chris in uh, an earlier match tonight. 
Oh, good jumping. There we go. Big damage here. Okay, so can you take advantage of that? Can you keep this lead? I don't think you can. <laughs> I see this is hitting him with button after button. Bunch of knees and bunch of booms. It's nothing. Just basic guile game plan. You know, uh. As in change. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, it's a since, since Street Fighter 2. <laughs> Since then, Guile has been throwing out knees, throwing out booms, and throwing out flash kicks. Guile wins. Um, Chris is saying that the gap between all skill levels is how well you can adapt, and I'm gonna also disagree with that. Damn! <laughs> and you must really not like Chris then. Oh, just burning hatred. Disagreeing <laughs> with the master Guile, saying, "No, you're wrong." I'm right. Let me oh, tell you why. Tell oh, whoa, whoa, no, no, okay. No, I, 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 met, I misread him. He said after you've gotten to a, to the point where you understand the game well. Okay, all right. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, I agree, and that's, and I would say that that's definitely a, that's, that's, um, what do you call it? Like around that platinum level, so once you've, you fit, like that's around when you actually have to learn how to adapt, and then from there it's it's all about adapting. I agree with that. Speaking of adapting, uh, it sounds looking good here for P Manny. No, he's, I, he's got to do something. I'm but, looking for him, you know, because you know I, I got mad love for anyone who decides to play, you know, uh, Alex players. But you know what? In his defense. In his defense, they just added Alex into the game season three. You know, like brand new character, right? They they, they finally put him in. No trailer for whatever reason. You know, so I mean, he's, he's doing pretty well for someone who's going to play the character for you know a little less than a month. I would say he's had the weirdest hype sensation because like there was a trailer, but that was like two years ago, and then it was just complete radio silence. Yeah, it's like, hey guys, uh, you guys can release this Alex next time soon. Like, no, you know, we're going to hold on it for a bit. He's not ready yet. Yeah. And now there's like a mad rush for you know all these brand new Alex players who you know, are finally uh, able to play him. Looking for this tech, and that's gonna be it. Nice right, win, so take it 3-0 over P Manny 191. Win. It's okay, buddy, it's okay. Don't worry about it. We don't hate you. We all understand, right? Alex is brand new, he's brand new to the game. You know, they added they um, it's very, very uh very hard to say this, um, very unprecedented for Capcom to add in two characters in one patch, but you know they